to my channel so today i have to show you how to create an angular application in vs code so while you are learning a angular you must have good knowledge in html css and javascript and also a basic understanding of angular that's uh, angular and how can you create a uh, angular application so firstly in your system you have to install uh, node node js so right node so click on uh, node js dot org click on this link there are two types of versions like uh, 20 uh, 2011 lts and current so lts means long term support and current means current existing so you click on the this version or other downloads you can get you can get all this msi g package x64 so you have to install a 64 bit so but uh, 64 bit you click on this link and you have to install but in my system already installed node.js so you have uh, I don't have need to install again. So how can you check uh, Node.js versions? So open terminal. So open terminal. So if you install that Node versions, so right click uh, Node node hyphen p it returns a versions of node yeah 14.23 and pm hyphen b okay and after that you have to install global angular cli version so using global angular cli angular cli so open this angular cli cli tool for angular copy the, that link and enter uh, command line and add hyphen g hyphen g that means angular cli globally installed but in my system already installed that's why we know, don't need to install that so how to check installed or not ng hyphen v so it returns a uh, node version this the angular cli ver version is this okay now how can you create angular application open vs code so click on file here open folder select uh, path i have to create an e we have a front end select folder okay. close this they have a blank folder is there so you have to create a one angular application so click on three terminal click on three dots and click on terminal new terminal so it opens a terminal so you have to create a new application ng new the application name or project name so demo app hit enter so it asks would you like to add an angular routing yes which style sheet format would you like to use like css scss scss and lss so i have used a css you can easily change to anything else CSS so it creates a demo application and all installation process have been done after that I have to run command ng serve and so what is the result like what is the result and what is updated So here 
is a demo application there were multiple folders are there so firstly a node modules so node modules folders contains uh, all the packages whatever you required in angular application in src folder they have a project basic project folders are there so like uh, app in asset folder in asset folder they have a uh, images and json file environmental file like you set up a base url like that and git ignore file you have to add uh, whatever you don't need to update on git so git ignore file angular.json file yes all this this is a basic setup so once you like uh, organizational level in projects so you have to make many things customize these source folder like all these things so firstly it is it will be installed yeah so package will install let command ng serve so i think it uh, in another here already run command executors yeah yeah firstly the serve command requires to run in the angular projects but i am in front end like only folder so go to cd demo app okay now run ng serve so it ask uh, angular analytics no so in that folder the app in src folder they have a app folder in app folder app routing modules app css html and so if you change anything in html reflected on route, uh, direct ui so i think uh, i have to remove all these things okay firstly we check what is the result local is 4200 so this is the main output so if you remove these codes and add router outlet okay we add one h1 command h1 command welcome to angular welcome to angular let's save it check welcome to angular 